Hello everyone, this is Michael Okechuku Lovenger, the creator of Michael Lovenger Speaks and the father of Theo Omniosis. Welcome to my YouTube channel that offers you seven different topics every week of the day. We have Deliverance Ministry, Love and Romance, Health Factors, Born Again Identity, Ministerial Admonition, Matrimonial Admonition, and the Human Heart Cast. We are here to give you the best because we are the best. Once again, I pray that the Lord God Almighty will bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, you are welcome to the Body PH Part 3. Once again, you are welcome. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will give you understanding into all things. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Alright, on the first part, we introduce the whole concept. On the second part, I talked about acidosis. What brings about the high level of acidity in the body. And those sicknesses and diseases are associated, some of them, that are associated with such condition. It is not ideal nor at all for your body to be acidic. No, it is not. Okay? The body should be maintained, okay, at an alkaline uh, medium. That is the best way to be healthy. Oh, and the last thing I told you, some of the things that uh, bring about acidity, okay? Now... Today we want to talk about briefly how you can restore your body pH. Remember homostatic mechanism. They are there to maintain the balance, all right? They are there to maintain the balance. I also told you that the chief major factors contributing to the body pH, okay? Fluctuation of body pH is uh, chiefly the food we eat mainly the food we eat and again our lifestyle our environment our lifestyle okay lifestyle also included with your thought pattern are you given to an anxiety you are overly worried you are fond of imagining worst case scenario you are always frightened you are always expecting the worst that person can never be free from ulcer I'm telling you, you do not know the connection of uh, our mental, our, our mind, our mental processes and uh, our physical body. Every imagination is a reality. Whatever you are thinking is already happening. If you are given to fear, your body, your body, your body is uh, a kind of stressed out. Because I want you to imagine something. I want you to imagine that somebody is chasing you, trying to, trying to kill you, and then you are running in your imagination. You are breathing in deeply and trying to save yourself in your imagination. Let me tell you, your body is actually running. Your body does not know the difference between imagination and their reality. As you are thinking of that thing, the chemicals in your body that are present when that thing is happening physically or from happening in reality is uh, actually present in your body at that time okay i want you to imagine an erotic uh, scene all right or encounter what happens to you how do you feel about it yes your body will begin to react to your thoughts so the food you eat hmm, your lifestyle which includes your environment how you influence your environment how your inf uh, environment influences your 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 your, your, the, your mental mood your mentality your mindset about life so people can never be satisfied in life no matter how much they have they are always afraid that there is going to be lack tomorrow may god have mercy on us in the mighty name of jesus amen so you should learn how to maintain everything okay remember most most of the most beautiful food out there they are actually the wrong thing no go to the grocery store okay 
Look at the Jews. Look at the label. Look at how beautiful. Look at your arrangement. Open it, and you can perceive the thing. Mmm, so yummy. So mm -mm. talk about the candy. <laughs> talk about the sugar. All those things they are very attractive, but they are the thing that you are not supposed to eat. Even if you you should eat them, let it be once in a while. All right, let it be what once in a while. Look at what the Bible say. In the Bible book of uh, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter twenty. All right, look at Proverbs chapter twenty, verse eighteen. All right, Proverbs twenty. Verse 18. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 18. Look at the Bible say. Verse 16, I mean to say. The Bible say, Have you found honey? Eat only as much as you need. Lest you be filled with it and vomit. Have you found honey? Now, when we talk about honey, honey is something that is very sweet, okay? It appeals to, the, uh, to our test board. Yeah, it is very attractive, very seductive, very, yeah, attractive. When you test it, it is there, it is very sweet. So, and you will be tempted to eat more. You will be tempted to indulge on it. So also, this also has to do with the, the things we see. What am I trying to say in this regard? Those things that are there to attract you, those food that are there to attract you, they are not the best for you. Okay? Everybody envying America and Canada because of their lifestyle, cars everywhere, computer everywhere, free house, free all this. Are they even free? Hmm? Uh, you don't know how the government maintain the rate, the tax rate. But uh, you can come there, you think that all those things they are free because when you watch them in the movie, you say, wow, you can see a man after this car, he enter another car, even the, 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 the person that parked the car left the key there. You can enter any house, bed, eat, change your clothes and walk out, everything free. Oh my God, I want to go to America, I want to be like this. Ah, oh, 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 oh. So, can you see the attraction? Can you see this seduction? You talk about their life, come to their dinner table, you can see a lot of things. Oh my God, the burger, McDonald's, Mr. Biggs, okay, all those burger, all those sodas, Oh my God, look at how fat they are. Look at how attractive their skin is. Wow, like plastic, so shiny. Oh my God. <laughs> so, it is very attractive. It is very sweet. It is very sweet. Now, if you can give somebody uh, a bowl of orange and uh, uh, orange juice, which one do you think the man is going to take? Ah, give the man orange juice because the pain of having to peel the orange and slide it open and begin to stress yourself trying to suck the juice out of the orange ball, you will run the risk of uh, swallowing the seed of the... Oh, I don't have that. I don't have time for such nothing. I am already late to work. Get me the burger. Get me the canned juice. Get me the canned rice. Get me the canned noodles. Get me every can from the refrigerator. Fry it. Is it going to take up to three minutes? No, I don't have time for three minutes meal. Give me the one minute meal. I can even eat on the go. While driving, you are marching on the burger. All those things. Oh my God. You eat it through a way the pack. From your car window, pam to the walk, from this walk to another walk, making all the money, and then you come back at the night highly exhausted. No time for the children, no time for the husband or the wife. <laughs> you don't report to anybody. You are on your own master. So this kind of life is—they are very attractive. So the man will choose the orange juice. Well, why not? It is more attractive, more beautiful, more easily taken, okay, and sweeter. 
But the animal will take the orange. Take the time, sit down to peel the orange, suck and extract the juice. And then, in the next two weeks, the animal will be jumping from one tree to another, chatting away, playing with other animals. But the human being will be lying down in the hospital bed, diagnosed with what? What? Cancer. Or high blood pressure. Or ulcer. Or he's gone into a coma. So the Bible says, if you found a honey, eat as much as you need. Mm, let's see you indulge on it and then you begin to vomit. So what is the vomit here? Our body is actually vomiting. The poison, no, not our body, not our body. People's body. The body of some people is actually vomiting the excess of a honey they have taken. <laughs> May God have mercy on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I still want to maintain here. Take away the sugar. Hmm. Take away the refined flour, the white flour, all baked food made from refined flour, including some, some what? No. We're not going to mention anything, but you know what I mean. Okay? Take away the food additives, the artificial flavor, the coloring. Are you, is it, it's not possible to buy something from the industry without without food addictive it is not possible okay just settle down in your mind so if you are buying oh my god did you know that these people they are trying to control everybody why is it that natural food are no longer readily available because the government they are in league with the food industry they will buy everything natural they will buy everything natural Take them to the industry, can even allow it to get rotten and then they throw it away. And then they will synthesize flavor and then bring it to the market. And you have no choice because you must eat. And because something natural is not there, you have to eat what is given to you. What is that called? It is called control, it is called manipulation. You are being hypnotized through the news, through the media, through the Advertisement industry. Did you know the reason why I am telling you all this thing? Hmm. So that you don't have to blame anybody. Make out time for your family. Make out time for your own meal. If you cannot produce to, to sell to the market, at least produce for your family. If you, are, you don't have time, at least go most of the time for the natural thing. Okay? Even in most advanced country, the fruits and vegetables they are not even natural. They are hybrid. The tomato will be very beautiful, mm, but it is fake. It is not natural at all because they have altered the DNA of that plant in order to increase their productivity. It is even done in the animal in order to fatten up. <laughs> oh my God. What is this glucogen, right? They use it to fatten up a cow. So that within months, the thing has grown up, we yield more meat, but they are poisonous to the body. So I am telling you what is going on. This is the reason why people are going down with health problems. Nothing is confused here. Everything is very open. If you just want to know the truth, we are here to tell you the truth, okay? This is the reason why. So, I don't want you to get confused, okay? These people, they don't love you. Take away the unhealthy fact. What is unhealthy fact? Hydrogenated fact. As long as it is coming from the industry, it is already contaminated. Take them away. Minimize their intake. Please, pardon me. When I say take them away, I mean... You should be aware of what they contain, okay? If you say you are going to eat them, good. But do not say, nobody told you that you did not know. Take away the processed food. Everything that is packaged, everything that is processed, all those fast food, hmm. oh my God. They have the sugar, refined flour, food additive, the salt, and the oily fat. Take away 
processed meat and dairy. I told you in Nigeria we have something that is called suya, just meat. They will put charcoal fire under it, and then the meat will absorb all the <laughs> carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide from the atmosphere from the fire underneath. Okay, when you eat them, you are incorporating all those carbon into your system, and that's cool. Smoked, smoked meat, they are not healthy for your body. Go and make research, research all those things. Because we don't have time. I'm just telling you, giving you the result of the. I'm just giving you the summary of everything. All right. Uh huh. Another one is alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. I don't have anything to say about it because you already know. Take away the tobacco, the cocaine. No. Oh, uh, in this place, people. Some people have access to trauma door. Okay, increase the. Yeah. They are strengths for the time being. Oh God. Minimize the caffeine. Excessive caffeine consumption can increase acidity in the body. Okay? Mind the way you take your coffee, they are good, okay? But do not remember the Bible says you have you found honey. When we talk about body pH, we are talking about balance. Alright? So all these things I am saying, take them away. I am telling you to take them away because I know that you will have them in excess already. You have them in excess already. Because when we talk about food now, you sh your food should be um, 70 to 80% alkaline fruit and vegetable, and then 20 to 30% acidic fruits. Can you see? So I am telling you, take those things away because I know that you already have them in excess. Couple with your unhealthy lifestyle and even the way you combine that food. Like in Nigeria, you can see some people they will go to the club, to the bar. What is bar? Bar is a place where they consume alcohol. Somebody will just say, Give me a bottle of alcohol, and then the person will order meat. Okay? Like this suya I'm talking about. The person will be chewing the suya, the meat. And then taking the alcohol at the same time. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You are eating the wrong meal. And then you are eating the true wrong combination. That's double offense. What are you doing to your body? <laughs> May God have mercy on us. In Jesus name. Amen. Okay. Mm. Now, how do you correct this uh, impression? How do you bring down the acidosis in your body? All right. First of all, you should maintain a, a, a healthy mindset. You should learn how to let things go. Okay. That's the reason why you should become a child of God. You should depend on somebody who is higher than you are. You should depend, learn how to depend on God. Pray about your problem. Pray about your problem and then allow God to work out the solution for you. Learn how to relax. Learn how to wait upon the Lord. You don't need to rush out every now and then to accomplish whatever you have set your mind on to accomplish. The stress will be too much for you. Can you see it? The stress will be too much for you. So learn how to think positively. Learn how to meditate. Learn how to use visualization. Visualization. Imagine yourself in a future environment. Cool, wealthy, and healthy. With your lovely family. Enjoying life. Eating the right food. Taking the right beverages. Taking the right amount of water. In a cool and clean environment. Okay, so you should maintain a positive mindset and a healthy lifestyle. Oh, when we talk about house and li lifestyle, it has to do with a lot of things, ranging from the time you wake up, the amount of sleep you get, your breathing pattern. I have told you, is it in the last part? There is a particular universal law that has it that there. 
your longevity is tied to the rate of your breathing. I told you that the, the faster you breathe, the faster you are going to burn out. This is strange, but it is true. It is strange, but it is true. The faster you breathe, the more shallow you breathe, the sooner you are going to die. It is a reality, I am telling you. So, you should be mindful of the kind of exercise you indulge in. If you are trying to train yourself to, for racing, for boxing, for all those things, fine. That's your career, your occupation, okay? Fine. But eh, the best form of exercise is what? Walking. You should walk out. You should hop. Monitor your breath. And again, after that exercise, then come back, drink enough water, just eat light food because your body is weak. Hmm. You can imagine some people, they have burned out their energy. They are highly stressed out. And then the person will indulge in the night. Too. There's a food we call fufu. And uh, like, uh, um, yeah, fufu. All right. Or gari. Then you just mold it into a ball and then with a soup and then you swallow it. You know, in Igbo, uh, we don't chew. There is a particular meal that we don't have to chew it. We swallow the, the meal like that. And then they also have to deal with it. So some people, after that stressful day, they come back late in the night. Something like 200, 100 hours. Like that is a 200, 200 hours. GMT. That is a, in local time is 10 o'clock. That is 10 p.m. Somebody is taking dinner or somebody is taking supper. Very tired. He's taking this kind of meal, I am telling you. That bolus, round ball. You dip it in soup, you swallow it. It is not chewed. <laughs> and then, from the table, straight to the bed, before you know it, two minutes, three minutes, the person is... <laughs> and the person is snoring away. <laughs> what do you think will happen? That food will be in the stomach. Hmm. And it will decay in the stomach because the stomach is not going to digest it. The major portion of that meal will be converted into fat. And then the person will begin to add weight, especially in the wrong place, around the liver, around the heart, around the stomach, around the, like, the genitals, that is, at the lower abdomen. Before you know it, because of the accumulation of fatty acid, uh, fat, fat particle uh, uh, along the lining, the lining of the inside of the nerve or the arteries, high blood pressure will be there. Because that space that is made for the blood to pass through, they, have been, they are being clothed up. They are being covered by fat. So the heart has to beat faster in order to get the blood out there. And then, the more this thing is going on, the more shallow the breathing pattern of that person. The person cannot breathe. I want you to imagine what happens when you have kata, when you have flu, when you have the flu, when you have cold. How is your breath? You, you are even forced to open your mouth and begin to breathe because the, enough air cannot pass through your nose again because they have been clogged up by the phlegm. Okay? So, that kind of thing will go now and begin to occupy the space within the, that, that tube that is meant for the blood to pass. So, the, the more shallower the breath now, and the more the longevity of that person is going down, according to that law. Do not worry, one day in our ministerial admonition, we will tell you about that law. I will tell you how to breathe in order to prolong your life, in order to maintain your longevity, in order to to live long please civilized country if you can hear my voice go and learn from certain asia country go and learn from certain tribe in india in china go and learn learn about their medicine learn about their tea learn about their morning routine learn about their ritual okay what i call ritual their type of exercise their life their, their culture their exercise learn about those things learn about their food Okay? Learn about all those things. 
So be mindful of your lifestyle because that is what greatly affects your body pH. The more stressed out, the more acidic your body becomes. The more processed meal, the more acidic. And the more acidic, the more you are likely to go down with sicknesses and, and diseases. Okay? Now, how do you maintain all those? And after taking away the wrong ones, hmm, hmm, you should choose organic, grass-fed, free-range wild animal. Okay? So, if you must eat animal, because we are balancing everything here, there was a time in this platform I've spoken about the benefit of vegetarianism. I'm not going to talk about it here. I also know that it may not be possible for some people. If you can do it, fine, do it. If you cannot do it, then do not do it. If you want to do it, contact an expert. Okay? The person will tell you how to supplement. There are many things. Animal-based protein. Okay? There are plant substitutes. Now, th this reminds me, we are not going to talk about food in this particular world because our time is almost gone. But this reminds me of something that happened in the land of Babylon. Alright? Uh, go with me in the Bible book of uh, Daniel chapter 1. The Bible book of Daniel chapter 1. When the nation of Israel was defeated by, by the Babylonian under the rulership of Nebuchadnezzar, all right, the king said that they should recruit the finest young men, noble young men, royal from royalty, okay, royalty celebrities, and that they should be trained, all right, so that after the training they will go into the service of the king. <laughs> Now, one of the manner of training them is uh, by giving them the food of the king. Hmm. I want you to imagine what King Nebuchadnezzar was eating at that time. Certainly meat, certainly fish, and then wine. Several wine, alcohol, many expensive delicacies, okay? The best. I want you to imagine the food of the ruler of the whole world at that time. Certainly the person has access to the best. Just like most civilized countries, they have access to the best. Yeah, they eat the best, alright? But what is the effect of that best food in their body? You can tell me. Okay? Mm. May God have mercy on us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, look at verse 5, he say. And the king appointed for them a daily portion of the king's delicacies and of the wine which he drank and the three years of training for them so that at the end of that time they might serve before the king. Now, from among those of the sons of Judah were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. To them the chief of the eunuch gave the name. He gave Daniel the name Betheshazzar to Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishael, Mishael, and to Azariah, Abednego. Then, verse 8 now, look at what happened. Verse 8 now, he said, But Daniel proposed in his heart that he should not defy himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the chief of the eunuch that he might not defy himself. Now, God have brought Daniel into the favor and the goodwill of the chief of the eunuchs. And the chief of the eunuchs said to Daniel, I fear the Lord, my king, who has appointed your food and drink. For why should he see your face, looking worse than the young men who are your age? Then you would endanger my head before the king. So Daniel said to the steward, whom the chief of the eunuchs had appointed over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, Please, Test your servant for ten days, and let them give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Verse 12, let me read it again. Please test us with this for ten days. Let them give us what? Vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenance be examined before you and the countenance of the young men who ate the portion of the king's delicacy, and as you see fit, so deal with your servant. 
Mm. So he consented with them in this matter and tested them 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, their countenance appeared better and the fatter in flesh than all the young men who ate the portion of the king's delicacy. Thus, the steward took away their portion of delicacies and the wine that they were to drink and gave them vegetables. May God have mercy on us and give us understanding into all things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can you see that yourself? Can you see that? The foundation of the love angel speaks health factors is that eh, man should go back to the Garden of Eden where we started our journey in all innocence, in total submission, in total unity. When man, when man can hear the whisper of the, of, the, of when man can sit down and meditate until he could decipher, decipher, decode the whispering from the tree. Human being, we are able to talk to tree, and the tree will respond. Birds and animal, they communicated with human being. They were best friend. There was no killing of animal. There was no attack from the animal against the human being okay well not literally in a time like this but it is possible in your own particular environment you can create this environment by yourself at your home Daniel said we want to go vegetarian 100% give us pops there's a translation we will read. Say, give us pops. Pops is a, a natural plant based source of uh, protein. Give us pops. That is fruit and vegetable. And give us water. Take away the meat, the cow meat, the delicacies, the red wine, all those wine that are designed to nourish the. Can you imagine the food of the king? We are made separate for them, prepare for them. They should eat the same thing that the king ate. But Daniel said no. Give us vegetable. And then what was the result? They were better. And then they were even wiser. And to tell you that this is the will of God for, the, for them, hmm? <laughs> God make them wiser. In verse 17, say, And for these four young men, God gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom. And then they had understanding in all visions and dreams. They came out the best. They came out the best. I pray that God will give you understanding. It is all about, the summary is what? You have eaten wrong meal well enough. Come back. Come back. Learn how to prepare your own meal. Learn how to eat fruits and vegetables. If you cannot find them in the market, you have to create a garden. At least 10% of your meal should come from your own garden. Take care of yourself. Do not run out there, no time for yourself, and then you make all the money and then you go and spend them in the hospital. Some people, they are living on drugs. They know that they are never going to stop taking drugs ever again in their life. They know it. Is that life? Is that life? Who are you going to blame for such kind of lifestyle? You have yourself to blame. I will see you in the next series. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, there you have that groundbreaking and eye-opening exposition of mystery, okay? Remember to reach me at the comment section and do come back. Remember we have seven different topics every week of the day. One again identity, the difference ministry, health factors, the human heart cast, ministerial admonition, matrimonial admonition, and the love and romance. This is the best channel here on the planet Earth. You are never left wanting, okay? May God bless you and keep you and help you 
to find out your purpose here on the planet Earth to the glory of His name. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Remember that I love you.